What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and it's going to be a long night. Go ahead and get ready. I got a lot of updates about the Quentin Simon case to bring you all, so I'm going to be dropping videos all throughout the night. And you late-nighters will probably be happy because you might see some 2 a.m. uploads. You know, I'm famous for that. Some of my best videos I put out at random times of night. When other YouTubers are afraid to upload content, I will drop a new video, a brand spanking new video right at 2 a.m. Because I can do stuff like that because I'm sending them a showgun. But anyway, let's hop right into it. So there's a lot of updates in the Quentin Simon case today. But the main thing we have to talk about is the fact that Leilani finally decided to say something. Yes, it's been weeks. But now... I guess she thought today was the day that she was going to speak up and do her first interview. And what did I tell you, folks? I told you all, remember, it, some of you all, this might be your first time watching one of my videos. But those of you all who have been following this case with me, I told you, I noticed the energy shifting. I noticed that they were going on the offensive. No longer are they going to sit back and hide in their house. No. Now they're out here spreading seeds of doubt. They have people looking at the babysitter. They got people questioning, wait, what about the boyfriend again? We wrote him off too soon. And now they're doing these little interviews. And if you ask me, it's a day late and a dollar short. That's what my granddad used to always say. A day late and a dollar short. And I don't want to give you too many of my thoughts because I don't want to cloud your judgment. So without further ado, let's hear what Leilani has to say, and then I'll be right back. We're in limbo. We're in limbo just like everybody else is. We're sitting here every day waiting for answers. Being in this house is hard. My mother and I can't even stay inside throughout the day. We always are outside because there's just so many memories that we don't know if we're going to have again. So you can't be in your house because it reminds you of Quentin. Or is it that you can't be in the house because you know you killed Quentin in that house? Let's be honest here. At the end of the day, her story is, hey, if I did something, then, then okay, I'm, I'm cool with taking the consequences. I won't, I won't run, but I just don't remember. Listen, folks, you forget things like where your car keys are. You might forget what time your doctor's appointment is. You might forget a gallon of milk while you're at the freaking grocery store. You do not forget murdering your own child and then disposing of them well enough so that investigators, FBI, multiple forms of law enforcement can't find them after an entire month, basically, almost. So I don't want to hear that. And even the, let's say Leilani doesn't know. All right, let's just let's just say we're buying into her narrative for one second. Do you think that makes you look good? That you can't remember if you may have I don't remember. May I, maybe I did kill Quentin. I don't know. That doesn't make you look any better in my eyes. That shows what a piece of a piece of crap parent and person you are. I, I, what? Uh, uh, I just don't remember, guys. Maybe I killed my child and threw him in a dumpster. Who knows? I, I forgot. Like, that's not how any of this works. So these tears, they're way too late. What stopped you from coming out day one with these tears? The reality is, folks, and this is my opinion here. Okay, this is just opinion. The reality is, in my eyes, they thought that Quentin would have been found by now. That's why you didn't see Leilani saying anything. Billy Joe, she was kind of on the fence about whose side she was taking in the situation. And then after a couple of weeks, they started getting comfortable. That's what's happening here. Leilani and Billy Joe, they're getting comfortable. Like, oh, maybe they will never find Quentin. Maybe they will never find any remains. Now we should start talking. Now we should use different tactics because it looks like there's a possibility that they don't find Quentin out in that landfill. That's what's happening here. There was silence in the beginning because in the beginning, they probably thought that Leilani was going to be locked up a long time ago. But the fact that Leilani is still out of jail, and I told you all when we saw her leaving that courthouse after that custody um, dispute or whatever that was going on. She had to go to court. 
for her other two kids. I said there's some confidence reeking off of her. And that's what this is. She now has the confidence to get in front of a television camera, produce some tears, and pretend like she doesn't know what happened. And I am not buying it. Like I said, a day late and a dollar short. So <laughs> when I was telling you that I sensed this energy shift, I was completely right. Because here we are like the day after, two days after, and bam, 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 all this stuff is starting to transpire. And now they want to talk. And I, I, I can't sympathize with her. I do not feel bad for her. If it's tough for you to be in that house, it's because it's tough for you to be in that house because you know what happened to Quentin. Like I said, you don't forget these type of things. And for you as a person to even put it out there, you have to remember, she didn't come out and just deny that she did this. She says she doesn't remember. But if the FBI finds out that I did, then I guess I did. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, hey, I don't know. I didn't do anything. I have no, I have no recollection of this. But if you do find out evidence and find out I'm guilty, then I'm guilty. <laughs> obviously. You know what I mean? It's like, obviously. So I don't know what type of defense or what type of statement even is that? It's like she's protecting herself on all sides. I'm not going to tell you what happened. I'm going to pretend I don't know. But if you do catch me, then you got me. That's basically what this is. If A, if you do find Quinn and you do find evidence to get me, then you got me. I guess it was me now. You know what I mean? And it, it's definitely what they're doing. They're going to play into this mental illness defense. Listen, okay? I don't want to hear anything about mental illnesses. I don't want to hear about depression. She's fully functioning well enough to crawl through windows and steal coin jars for pills and random stuff like that. But now, no, when it comes to baby Simon, oh, it's just a blank memory. A blank memory. Man, this shit is pissing me off. I am telling you right now. Looking at this face, looking at her trying to cry, looking at Billy Joe right next to her. Tell me, does that look like someone who's confident? That their daughter's telling the truth. Billy Joe's sitting there like, I don't know about this shit, but hey, I'm here. But it's clear that she's chosen her side. She's sticking next to her daughter. And I'm not necessarily going to fault her for that. But at the end of the day, Billy Joe, I mean, she's somewhat accountable as well. And she knows that. And that's why they got together and they formulated their plan moving forward. And we're starting to see them execute that plan. We're going to send Michael out here to appear on live streams. I'm going to go talk to WTOC, the news. Billy Joe's going to start. <laughs> it, it's all starting to play out, kind of like the Casey Anthony situation as well. But listen, I got more clips to show you all of what Leilani has to say. I didn't want to rant on too long in one video. I like to give you all tidbits, so make sure you're subscribed. Ring that notification bell because we're about to watch. Are, you all will be watching part two momentarily. Give it a couple of hours and the video will be up on my channel. But for now, let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. How do you feel about this little snippet of the interview? While you're down there, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all soon.